today I'm building in Copperdale and I am building a farmhouse that has three bedrooms, technically four if you like consider the study a bedroom, which I guess I would. You could always like have it not be a study. Um, I did save it to my gallery, unfurnished as well, so you'll be able to download this without any of the interior furnishings. Um, just to make it easier, I guess. <laughs> I do sometimes change the floor plan like and wallpaper just slightly when I upload it that way, where I do one unfurnished and one furnished. And I did kind of forget to furnish the tower of this build, <laughs> which I'll like show my reference picture in a little bit because I kind of just was looking up white farmhouses and that's like what I was going for with this. <laughs> And I found a build on Pinterest. And originally I wanted this build to be like very old fashioned, but I kind of just made it for modern day <laughs> as I was building. I kind of like lost what I was going to do. Like I wasn't going to have like electricity and stuff in this build, but I just kind of went with what I was feeling and um, the downstairs I definitely feel like looks a little bit more old than the upstairs and I think that's because I furnished it in two different days. So I did the downstairs first and then, like the next day I did all the bedrooms and those definitely feel more contemporary with like the furnishings and stuff and like it's because I've been inspired by like the sims 2 in my head like how i used to play as a kid and so as i've been like furnishing my builds i'm like kind of furnishing them the way i would if i was playing the sims 2 it really doesn't make a lot of sense and it probably really doesn't mean anything at all but that's kind of what's been happening in my brain lately and i have played the sims 2 since i've been like feeling like that in my last couple of builds i don't even remember the last build that i did I feel like I haven't built or I haven't like posted a video in a while. I know it's only been like a week now because <laughs> I had done my collab build and I posted like two collabs in a week. And then I was going to post this one like on Friday, which is today as I'm recording this. Um, and I decided to try and like adjust my upload schedule back to Mondays just because like having it at the end of the week has been like difficult for me to remember because <laughs> I'm not used to that sort of schedule. And so I was like finishing editing this build and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to post this tomorrow, aren't I? <laughs> and I'm like, I'll just like push it to Monday. And like, so technically I gave myself like a week break from making like or posting a video i guess because i've been making this over the week anyway i've been mostly like playing paleo recently and that's kind of been my focus and i do want to build some more stuff from paleo like i've been considering doing the inn in paleo um and so it's gonna be that would be like a really big build so <laughs> i'm like going to like you know like ease into it because right now my Sims 4 brain isn't really working that much. <laughs> like I've been playing Paleo like I just said. But then I also just played Sims 2 again this week. And so that's all I can think about is Sims 2. And then I had another idea where I was like, oh, I want to like build some of the like um like pre-made houses in the Sims 2 in the Sims 4. So I could relive my childhood memories. <laughs> like, that's, like, the only reason. And I've been yapping for five minutes. I could show you the, like, inspiration picture now that you kind of get, like, the entire shape of this build is done. So now it'll make sense when I actually show you it. Here's the build. I It's pretty much, like, a copy-paste of the inspiration picture. But I really, really liked it. I liked how, like, scary it looked. It looked haunted. And I was like, yeah, that's perfect. But the interior, I feel like it's not as haunted as my other builds. Um, I definitely, like I said before, I kind of made it feel just more like a normal family home. No extra ghosts are hanging around in here. I mean, there could be. Maybe they're just like lurking around in the woods around the lot. And this is a beautiful lot. This is the lot that I had done my like 1800s build for like the Simlish Chronicles collab. 
And I really wanted to use this lot again, <laughs> except this time I'm using it the correct way. So the front of the lot is the front of the lot. But this is one of my favorite lots. It's like in the more wooded area. I'm trying to imagine the Copperdale map in my head. I think it's like towards the bottom right or something. I really don't go to this world very often. So um, it's a little bit hard for me to picture it. So I could like actually say where the lot is. But I'm sure you could find it. It's a very tiny lot, which I really like because it means that I don't feel like I have to do a massive build. And I don't have to do a whole lot of landscaping. And so I kept it to like landscape pretty simple. I had this fenced in area that I did for like some farm stuff. And I pretty much just put some trees around and some tall grass um, along dirt paths and stuff. And that's like kind of how I like landscape it. And I don't use a whole lot of colors on the exterior. It's a lot of white. The shutters are cream, which I kind of cut out me going through some of it, but just know that I put a bunch of shutters around. And I was going to use tool to make them look like they're falling off a little bit, but I forgot to do that. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back in and do that. And yeah, so I've been just placing um tall grass around and I've been using them to help me kind of like plan out where I want my dirt paths to go and terrain paint is getting easier for me now <laughs> I know that like I guess like a month ago I was saying I was like I did um like simly sashes shell challenge and I was talking about how I didn't think I'd ever be able to do terrain paint that well again <laughs> but I feel like I'm like catching on with how to make it look more natural and stuff and I think that the like tall grass really helps and I've been pretty much landscaping the same way recently I've been using just the white mushrooms the tall grass and the dirt pads <laughs> and that's my landscaping but for like a year before that my landscaping was like a pond with the same rocks and the same plants around it and that was like every like what I constantly did. And now I haven't been using that much of the terrain tool. Yeah, I haven't. Have I done terrain in a while? Not really. I haven't like raised up a house in a while. It's because I normally when I'm like sitting down to build now, I'm like so worried about like figuring out the shape of the build. And so by the time I finish that, I'm like, oh, I don't want to like mess around with anything. So I'm just going to keep it as this and have it be flat, which works fine. I don't have to worry about like anything like accidentally not being functional because of the amount of rocks that I use. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that this build should be completely functional. I'll do like one little bit of play testing before I upload to the gallery because I kind of forgot um, when I was taking my screenshots, all I kind of did was put, like, sims in to turn on the fireplace for the chimney smoke. And that was, like, all I ended up doing for it. But I really like this little backyard area. It's really simple, but I feel like it works and also feels very natural and realistic. There's, like, not too much out there. It's just, like, a place for gardening, a picnic. I have, like, monkey bars out there. And that's, like, really all that I have. I had, like, a place for a wash and stuff. I didn't put any laundry baskets in. <laughs> so if you download it, there'll be just piles of clothes everywhere. Um, you could delete the laundry stuff anyway. I just like how it looks outside. Like, I really like the concept of laundry in The Sims. But it is pretty overwhelming I think to like keep up with because it's just so it's like accumulates so quickly which I really learned in my 100 baby challenge when I did it like a couple of years ago and I decided it would be a smart idea to force myself to have a generation off the grid with laundry and like the entire beach in Sulani was covered in stinky clothes piles and i had a picture of it too it was literally the entire screen was laundry and you would think that i would just give myself a break and i would just delete all the laundry but no my sims just lived surrounded by piles of clothes for an entire generation with a generator that would never turn on <laughs> the one of your baby challenge is really difficult and I restarted another one. I had abandoned it. 
Um, none of this really matters at all, so I don't need to keep talking about it. But I did try to do the baby challenge again, and I abandoned it because the game is so buggy with gameplay, and I just can't do it sometimes, <laughs> especially with infants. Um, but yeah, this is the floor plan that I'm doing of the build now. Um, it has a lot of bathrooms in it. <laughs> this house is really big for like such a small lot. And I remember the other build I had done on here like a month ago or so. It was so tiny and I had it like I felt like I used so much of the lot in that build, but that build only had a bedroom. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's because that build was like I pushed it so far back in the lot so that like there was like a longer path leading up to it but this one is like a really like good sized family home i have like one little nursery area and then a bedroom with bunk beds so technically like how i furnished it it would be a house for like a couple with an infant and like two kids or like a teen and a kid or two teens i don't know i mean like i made the bedroom with the bunk beds have toys and stuff in it so I guess in my head it was for like two kids or so and then of course there's the office space that could be changed into a bedroom I mostly made it an office space because I realized I forgot to put a desk in, like anywhere else in the build and I was like I'll just use one of the bedrooms so I don't have to furnish a like another bedroom because sometimes they get kind of like repetitive and I kind of just use the same items all the time. But yeah, I don't really remember which wallpapers I pick out for this build. <laughs> it took me a second. I literally had to like take a break and come back to it. But I did use a lot of the, I think that's growing together, like tile-ish wall in the kitchen and bathrooms. For like, I'm pretty sure I use it in every single one. <laughs> Um, but I liked the look of it and I kind of furnished most of the bathrooms like not record it because I felt like it was boring to me and it was kind of just going to be the same thing and you would see it anyway while I'm working on the other rooms um, so it kind of just saved a little bit of time in the video and like a little bit of like editing time as well like this video isn't super long it also didn't take me too long to edit, which I was a little bit surprised about. It went pretty quickly. But this is the kitchen. Um, a lot of green in here. Um, I used a green fridge and a green stove. And the tiles have green and yellow in it. And then I think I, oh yeah, I did change some of the tile walls. So I added um, a backsplash because the other wallpaper I had picked out you couldn't really see the orange parts of it and so I wanted like you to be able to see the tile behind the counters and so I changed it a little bit the unfurnished build won't have that it'll be just all the other stuff and I've been cluttering very like minimally lately I haven't been like putting too much extra energy into cluttering because I don't think I could um handle it <laughs> and like my current stage of building in the sims so i've been just like placing just enough clutter on some surfaces to make it feel lived in and more realistic without like putting like way too much which i think works like i just covered up one counter with clutter so there's two free counters that are completely functional which like i don't know if the cooking feature where you could cook with your family. I don't know if that's broken or not. I know it used to be broken, but if it's not broken, then two Sims can cook together in the kitchen. And so this is the dining room. I picked out a lot of blues in here and I think I change the curtains, unless I don't, maybe I leave the yellow curtains, but yellow and blue go well together anyway. So I was kind of just picking out little things here and there. Um, it took me a while to decide on the chairs that I was going to use, but I settled on the mixture of these different ones. Sometimes I have like so many mismatched chairs where it's like each chair is different. <laughs> but this time I was like, okay, they have the full four set. And then they have like two old chairs that are brought in that go on the end of the table. But they all look cohesive and they work together, I think, like really nicely. And then there is this like living room space, which 
I felt like was it's not even an odd shape because it's just a square but because of how the windows were laid out I kind of struggled trying to figure out where I was placing couches and stuff and I was originally gonna have like the tv in front of those large windows but I was like why would I block those windows over there and like so I had to like move some stuff around for that too and like now I could have used that three-seater couch but um I didn't because I was like so set on the tv being in front of that window so I was like oh I need a two-seater and I'll put this chair over here and then as like I'm pulling out furniture and stuff I realized that that's just not gonna work and so I moved the two-seater couch just a little bit so it would look like it would face where the tv does end up going um, which is in the corner on the other side. <laughs> but I kept this room pretty simple too. It's just like a green couch with a yellow pillow. And I'm pretty sure the chair in there is also yellow. So there's a lot of colors <laughs> in my builds for this one, which is not normal for me. So I've been just like, yeah, there's like blue in there too. Blue, yellow, green. Is that the only colors? <laughs> I guess so. But that's more than usual I think my builds are mostly like um either like this like tan cream color or like a very dark brown wood color with like accents of like green or sometimes red and so I've been using more blues recently in my builds um but yeah this is just a like sitting area or like the foyer I put the um fireplace over here because I wanted the chimney smoke and I needed to find a place for it and so I placed it just over here and then I have this like console table over here that I put some clutter around and like that's like pretty much it for the clutter down here is just whatever is on that little um table when you walk into the house and you can see some of the bathroom that I had done I do put a little bit of stuff in here um I was gonna say I'm like did I put the fake laundry basket in and not a real laundry basket I might have it might go back to having <laughs> the fake laundry in there um this bathroom kind of scares me a little bit I'm not gonna lie um I feel like there's not a lot going on and okay I feel a little bit better I'm less scared now <laughs> with the wood wall being added it was just like so much like white in that room and like in real life white walls just they aren't as scary but in the sims it's like it feels so bright especially with my like g shade on too i feel like it makes it look a little bit more scary but i had to change the layout of this bathroom a little bit to add a ladder to go up into the tower a tower i forgot existed so there's nothing in the tower and i don't even know what would go in the tower because you get to the tower through the bathroom in a little tiny closet there's a ladder leading up to it it's like what could that possibly be <laughs> like it really can't be anything interesting like i don't know having to walk into a bathroom to get to it i could have probably made like the hallway a little bit like different so you didn't have to walk into the bathroom for it and then i could have made it like some sort of like playroom or something but now that's empty um you could place something up there it could be a laundry room that would be a nightmare carrying laundry up a ladder <laughs> so i definitely I wouldn't recommend that but yeah this is the like parents bedroom i guess i'm using more blues in it because the bedspread's blue i use that same rug like three times i'm pretty sure i'm sure that rug is in the dining room <laughs> the living room and now in the bedroom up here and i just cluttered the dresser because I felt like it would have been lazy of me to not at least try and put a little bit of clutter up here. But yeah, this is the um, the study. And for, this is the room that made me feel like I was playing The Sims 2 for some reason. It was like reminding me of a very specific like study room that I had in one of my like Sims houses in like a pre-built Sims 2 house. Um, I'm not, I don't do a good job at explaining things. <laughs> like I genuinely, I won't be able to explain it. So just know that that's what I was thinking the entire time I was furnishing this room 
and I think it's because the walls are so white again. And in that game, I just never like played around with wallpapers. <laughs> and so all of my builds were just like white walls, which now when I play, I appreciate the wallpapers a little bit more, but back then I didn't. The wallpapers are so good in The Sims too, though. They have like such beautiful floral wallpapers. They have really good kids' bedroom wallpapers and stuff. Like if you haven't played The Sims 2, like just like they went all out for these wallpapers. <laughs> um, I'll be streaming The Sims 2 again um at some point, maybe sometime this week. Um, if you're curious about The Sims 2, or if you miss it and you just want to see some Sims 2. Um I'll try and remember to post in the community tab that I'm live playing The Sims 2. Um, I usually, like, I feel, like, so annoying when I stream <laughs> because I really don't like posting to so many places that I'm live. And so I'm like, I don't want to have to post Instagram and YouTube and Twitter because I'm like, I feel annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting repetitive at that point. Um, but... For The Sims 2, next time I'll post it on YouTube. Um, yeah, uh, maybe not when I play Palea. But yeah, I've been playing Palea mostly on stream, which is another really great game. And like I said way earlier, that I want to do a lot more builds inspired by Palea. It's a free game, though, and so it's really like nice, and the decorating is really nice. It's a slow grind, though. It takes a while to get into decorating. <laughs> And this is the final bedroom for the build. Um, this one's for, I guess, two kids. I did bunk beds because I, when I was a kid, I always wanted my Sims to have bunk beds. And I was like, all right, this build is getting bunk beds. I used the cute little penguin wallpaper too, because I love penguins. <laughs> that was like when I was picking out wallpapers. I'm like, yeah, that penguin wallpaper, that like reads a Sims 2 to me. It's really, really perfect. In my, like, latest Sims 2 house for my family that I was playing, there was, like, yellow walls, but they have teddy bears at the top like that, so that's kind of what I'm imagining. Um, just some little lunch boxes on there, and then these are the screenshots of the builds. So just the floor plans, living room, dining room, kitchen. I feel like it came together in the screenshots. At least, like, it feels a little bit lived in and not as rushed as I kind of, I guess was it could have came across because I did not put as much effort into an interior because <laughs> I've been needing a break from interiors. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.